Good morning, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Sorgatron.com is where we host this stuff. We're on YouTube, we're on iTunes, all kinds of things linked at the bloggy blog at Sorgatron.com. Hey, I'm coming off a really cool and creative and 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 informative and and mind expanding evening here in Pittsburgh. Um, this is one of the cool things. I, I love that I live uh, in Beachview, like I'm right on the tracks, as we say, uh, right down from Slice on Broadway, sponsor of our fine, fine podcast from the rest of the network. Um, <laughs> but uh, I love the access, and uh, I had the opportunity um, um, that uh, I got to hit up two events yesterday. Um, first of all, uh, we'll, we'll second with Fre- Refresh Pittsburgh that we'll we'll talk about a little later in this morning. Uh, but first of all, uh, there was a, a great event down at the Carnegie Mellon ETC, the uh, Entertainment Technology Center, if I got all that right, uh, put on a little bit by the uh, Pittsburgh Technology Council. Welcome to Crowdfunding with Indiegogo, Building Successful Campaigns, da 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 um, with a gentleman that, uh, that, that, that works in the tech vertical of Indiegogo. Um, now, Indiegogo has been interesting uh, to me this week. I, I have uh, done a campaign to uh, not much success on uh, Kickstarter uh, for a video project, and, and that was my fault. I, I got a bid of somebody that was going to kind of take it over, and I, I dropped the ball. I mean, that was me. That was completely me and uh, and my mistake, and now, eh, now that, that's dead. Um, so I'm hoping that's something I can resurrect at some point here uh, when, I'm, when I'm up for it. Um, and, uh, of course, we're running on Patreon uh, for Wrestling Mayhem Show, and I got one that uh, I really need to kind of uh, push a little harder for Awesome Cast um, and get some supporters there. And with varying success, too. I mean, it's great. We have some people supporting. We have a little bit coming in from that. You know, not much, but it, it's an interesting experiment to see what is going to kind of hit with people. And that's a, that's a long game uh, as far as that goes. Um, but for the most part, uh, this presentation uh, uh, mostly, again, kind of dealt with Again, the tech vertical of uh, Indiegogo, um, kind of what you know, what it takes to to uh, launch a product, and and that's the stuff that you hear from probably the most if you listen to tech news is is the people that are having uh, you know some of the examples they gave were uh, Jibo, which is like a home robot. I can't believe this is a real thing when you look at this uh, J I B O. If you want to look that up, um, there's a a, a air like a nerf gun super soaker looking fly swatter that shoots uh salt at the uh at the flies and kills them instantly apparently um and uh and of course i look at it more for like you know what can i do for projects what can i do and i didn't know how much indiegogo got into because i think movies and i think the products when i think indiegogo and uh i didn't realize that they do do um um like 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 health you know like like you know this person has a surgery can we help fund it you know kind of thing i wish i would have known that because i do have a client that's that's doing that and doing it through you caring and it's definitely not as fleshed out a platform as indiegogo but really good tools there too um i uh katie uh uh, uh, kate utters on the twitter you may know her as um was with me for this and uh, was was live tweeting it for somebody who couldn't make it because they were sick um and there was some really good comments out of it um, the idea that you could use this as a platform and to think of this as another platform was, was kind of eye opening a little bit. Cause I, I always thought of the crowdfunding and in, in my, in my goings as, as kind of a tool. Right. Um, and, uh, it, it's, it's, uh, you really need to kind of go all in on these things uh, a bit more than, than I think uh, in the past I've thought about it as a tool. It's like, okay, push people here, push people here. But the idea that you can use something like this uh, to uh, expand uh, and get feedback. So, you know, you're working on a product. There's a, a, fitness, ar- a fitness band, and they determined through the feedback that they wanted – like it was just going to be a clip-on thing, you know, and they wanted more of a watch or a necklace kind of uh, set up. You know that's really important. You know before you get something made and into market and realize oh, it's a bad idea. It was a bad idea. And I'm thinking about how can we do that as far as like you know maybe maybe producing some of the video shows we do here and, and pushing that. You know I want to do higher ones and ones that aren't in the studio in the in the fifty dollar studio. You know that we're actually going out. But we need money to be able to take the time and and maybe get a couple pieces of equipment. Um, I have some ideas for you know maybe uh, you know one of the aspects I know highly highly needs an upgrade. Um, and I'm wondering, you know, what are some ways that we can use some perks to upgrade that equipment for that 
production or a series of productions that we do around here um, because it has a fan base and it has a customer base um, and that we can already tap into. I have a newsletter around it, you know, um, and maybe, maybe, maybe we can get something out of it, but it was a pretty cool talk. Um, go follow uh, Indiegogo Tech, I believe is the Twitter account for this gentleman. Um Again, name escapes me, but uh, uh, really cool. And it was really cool to check out Carnegie Mellon's ETC. Um, you walk in, and there's a giant, uh, there's a giant uh, uh, Hulk uh, in there. And um, and I wish I had Katie's Instagram for that one um, because uh, there it is. No, that's not it. Um, anyways, uh, but no, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to go check that out. If you, if you haven't, ACC, if you're not familiar, it's, um, um, again, Entertainment Technology Center. Um, you know, they, they do a lot of video game work and everything uh, in there and uh, in a bit more. I know, like, Electronic Arts has been uh, highly involved with, uh, I think, promising to hire out so many people out of it. So, um, but it was pretty cool to finally kind of check that place out a little bit, at least, you know, the first floor. I hope I get a tour of it sometime, you know. I, I got to find somebody in there to get that get that hook up so other than that i went to refresh pittsburgh last night if you're not familiar it is a it is a uh a, a kind of a design um educational series you know it's kind of like to make sure you're kind of upkeeping on what's going on uh in the industry um there's there's a lot of times you know especially you know i do concern myself a little bit. It's not the front end of my business, but it's a. I, I, I have a background in web design, and obviously didn't get to it. And if you see my sites, no, they're not that great uh, in comparison to a lot of these guys, especially. Um, but it's always cool to uh, check out and see what's going on. And a lot of that stuff can trickle down to even the little little stuff that I'm doing. Um, but a uh, friend of the show, friend of friend of uh, uh, Awesome Cast and, and Yin's Teamer and, and everything, uh, Josh Sager was presenting. So I was like, I had to hit this up. And he was doing one about uh, dealing with your project managers. And um, if you ever get a chance, you ever see this guy on the bill around Pittsburgh uh, for Web Design Day or Refresh Pittsburgh, go. Even if it's a, uh, it's a topic you're mildly into. Like, I'm not going to deal with a project manager, but there's a lot of stuff about product management that I uh, kind of saw in there. I can kind of trickle down to what I do do here uh, with video with, with the clients I have, you know, on a small kind of basis. Um, and, and I remember seeing him teach, I go again, back away, like the very first web design day I attended and when I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to be when I grew up, uh, and become independent and, and, and all this stuff. Um, and also, uh, you know, uh, shadowing him at, at PTI when he was still teaching there, when I went for the, uh, adjunct stuff, um, you know, really good dynamic teacher, uh, really fun slides. He integrates well. He is, you know, I could learn so much about public speaking from him, and I wish I could get raised more from him. Uh, uh, as always, you know, when I when I worked there at PTI for a period. Um, so, and other than that, um, we had a, a Kate Daly who actually had a really good presentation. I sat on, and I actually just captured when I came home because I'm trying to get back through those PodCamp uh, Pittsburgh Nine videos. Uh, get those up. Um, it was, I think it was pitch or podcast was her session. And I just remember it being really, really good and, and, and stirred a lot of ideas to get that out there. Um, but she, did, she actually did one and I wish I had a better picture. I didn't realize how dark and out of focus I was, but, uh, um, she did one about like kind of managing expectations again, a little bit from the project manager side, but also a little bit about, uh, like, I think she trashed, if she was saying she trashed her, um, uh, presentation, uh, because of all the craziness that happened with her kid that day. Um, and, and, you know, talking about how we react to those things and how we choose to react to those things. Um, uh, again, very good, you know, both very good, very good talks. Um, uh, really, really a lot of fun, learned a lot. And uh, it was like a little reunion because um, um, a lot of friends of, of the PodCamp blog fest circles uh yin's team circles uh uh popped up and it was really cool to kind of hang out and uh, uh bs at a beer bar i think it was this place has no food they let you take out food and bring it in to this place because it's all imports and all that stuff and i'm the jackass to order the yingling so but anyways there's reasons for that uh but it was a lot of fun if you want to check it out refresh pittsburgh.org get on their newsletter you know um i haven't been able to get there for a long time just because of schedule um, and, and thankfully, thankfully, quote unquote, um, they, they, they rescheduled from last week when I had some stuff plans with the, with the, uh, uh, snow ice storm, whatever the heck it was. Um, and, uh, and I got to go and, and I usually don't, I haven't for a long, long time. So really good, really good people. If you're into web design development, um, even a little project management, you know, I mean, if, if, if you, even if you're like have a WordPress blog and kind of want to see how the professionals are doing things, 
um it's free why not you know go sign up for it and uh you know keep an eye for that um if you're interested uh on our twitter on awesome cast we've been uh in the pittsburgh area because i i'd like to think of us as a very pittsburgh based podcast uh to get that that opinion and I, and, and I know a lot of you guys from pittsburgh do listen to it um i'm making a point to uh every time i see something like our refresh pittsburgh's and our build guild pittsburgh's uh, which is another great kind of developer uh, meetup kind of situation. Uh, so I'm really good at actually meetup.com has, has some WordPress stuff that, you know, I, I think it was also scheduled for last night. Uh, I think they mean at like Eaton Park out Waterworks or something like that. Go check those out. I, I, uh, follow at Awesome Cast on, on Twitter. And, uh, and like I said, we're going to put that out. And at the end of the show every week on the main Awesome Cast, we uh, try to do a rundown of everything coming up as well in the area. So with that, oh, web design day. Uh, go go check. I think it's webdesignday.com. Um, they have general tickets. It's going to be a new Hazlitt over on our side. So so that's what's going on with me and all the stuff I learned last night. Let me know what you're learning. What's the last great talk or conference or something that you attended? you have any big ones coming up? Let me know on the blog um, over at sorgatron.com or uh, comment on the YouTube or even hit me up on Twitter at sorgatron. So until next time, have a good morning. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.